turning obstacles into opportunities. My perspective based on my life experiences. Stay tuned. Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Stephanie and I've decided to start a YouTube channel. I'm a part of an active duty military family and currently reside in the eastern part of Washington State. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Peace. The title of this video is Turning Obstacles into Opportunities, Your Best Self Revealed. I wanted to create this video because I found that over the years, my perspective on how I approach situations determined the outcome. I would like to share several obstacles that I've encountered over the course of my life and the opportunities that I turned them into. I would like to share how I did that and hopefully impart some small knowledge that you can use. The first obstacle was losing my parents at an early age. My mother passed away when I was about eight months old and my father passed away when I was seven. Now, most of you watching would look at this situation and only observe an obstacle because these are my birth parents and they would have been the people that would be rooting for me and helping me throughout my life. Birth parents can be the foundation and support that children need in order to be happy, healthy, and successful in life. I will admit in the beginning, this situation did seem grim, but I had a grandmother and grandfather who were selfless and stepped in. Both of my grandparents raised my brother and I and gave us every opportunity birth parents would. For example, they made sure we had a great education. My grandmother cooked three meals a day. My grandfather corrected us when we were wrong. They taught us work ethic, helped us build value systems, and gave us every opportunity that would have been afforded by birth parents. As I got older, I began to understand the sacrifice that they made. Both of my grandparents were already retired from school teaching when they received my brother and I. They were 55 years old. Over time, I began to understand that there was an opportunity in this obstacle. Even though my birth parents had passed on from this world, I had two angels on earth who looked after me and who afforded me all of the same opportunities I would have had otherwise. I took the stepping stone that they gave me and turned it into an opportunity to have a happy, healthy, and normal life. This experience taught me early in life to view my obstacles as opportunities and that I had the power to turn stumbling blocks into stepping stones. I realized I had the power to do this and it was all up to me to make the determination. The very next obstacle I faced as I got older was realizing that I was not making very good grades in school. This realization started around the third grade. I had a teacher that wanted me to repeat the third grade because my grades were not satisfactory enough to move on to the next grade. This was a major obstacle for me because I understood at a very early age that I was going to be in school for years to come and that I would be faced with this hurdle over and over again. Several opportunities came out of this obstacle. The first opportunity was I began to learn how to deal with difficult situations. Every six weeks, a report card would be going home. 
I knew and understood this. So in between each report card, I would work extremely hard in class with the teacher to try and understand the concepts that I was not comprehending. Some days were better than others, and some concepts I would grasp, and other concepts were extremely difficult to understand. Eventually, I was able to complete all of the work, and it was determined that I would move on to the next grade. The next opportunity that came out of this situation was that I learned how to develop coping techniques. The major coping technique that I employed was thoroughly and relentlessly working through subject by subject and problem by problem and meticulously studying a concept until I understood it. I realized early on that I had to work twice as hard and study twice as long in order to make average grades. This technique proved valuable as I was able to pass to the next grade year after year until I graduated from high school. The last major opportunity that came out of this obstacle was that it strengthened my work ethic. I realized that because I had to study twice as hard and work twice as long as my peers, that over time I developed and embraced the ability to not only close the gap between myself and my classmates, but also exceed the expectations of myself and my teachers. This growth created an intrinsic endurance that has complemented every project I've ever worked on and every team I've ever been a part of. Over time, I have developed a never quit attitude, which has been a direct benefit from the obstacle that I encountered at a young age. The strongest metal is forged by the hottest fire. There is value in adversity. I have gone on to earn a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Claflin University, graduating with honors, and then went on to earn a Master's of Science degree from Central Michigan University. The next major obstacle I encountered was always learning things the hard way. As I got older, I recognized that this was a major obstacle. It seemed like every learning opportunity had to be learned the hard way. I didn't want to take my grandmother's advice when she offered it, and I didn't want to listen to my aunt when she had constructive criticism to offer. I had to have the experience directly, and most times it ended with a negative outcome. One of the opportunities that came out of this obstacle was that I became more resilient. Learning the hard way also made me a stronger person and it helped me to become street smart. I finally realized that I couldn't just listen and learn from someone else's past experience and wisdom. Over time, I learned that I actually had to experience life and the lessons that came along with it for myself. This helped me truly learn a great deal about myself and how I acquire knowledge. Today, I use this direct hands-on experience to discover the world in a detailed, more basic way so that I can understand the bigger picture in everything that I do. The last major obstacle that I will share with you today is working for a toxic boss or working with toxic coworkers or people. Most people will experience this at least once in their lifetime, and hopefully what I share with you today will give you a positive perspective on how you can turn this obstacle into an opportunity for yourself. I have worked for and with many toxic people in my lifetime. At first, the situation may seem extremely uninviting. 
and most people react negatively to it. I have discovered that most toxic people are unhappy with themselves or their lives in some way. Please do not mistake this as your fault. The opportunities in this obstacle is knowing your worth, not allowing someone else's opinion or perspective of you to become your own, learning how to prove people wrong in a positive manner with a positive attitude, and finally, learning how to value your own beliefs and opinions of yourself. These are tactics that I employ when I encounter toxic people in the workplace or in my personal life. I have discovered that if I approach these situations in a positive manner with a positive outlook, that my opportunities are endless. If I can leave you with one piece of advice, it would be that the hardest obstacles that you will ever have to conquer or traverse are the ones that you put in place for yourself. And when dealing with adversity, usually the only person that you have to prove wrong is yourself because you can do it. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and what I do. I'm super excited to get this thing off the ground. Remember, good things come to those who wait.